What's cracking, everybody? It's RFL Rose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battling content. In this video, we got another shoutcast from the Spring Cup with my the thing from my nightmares, Bubble Beam Jellicent. It's here, and I'm getting PTSD from it from all the days before it got surfed. Let's take a look at these battles from catching Pokebugs in the early ranks here. Still looking to get up to that ELO rank. Let's get into the first battle here where the opponent's got a Weezing against the Obama Snow on the lead here. Now we got Polyrath Jellicent in the back. Probably to cover the Maul Isle weakness as well, um, as we saw. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's throwing Bubble Beam into a superior trainer! Huh? Let's go for the Shadow Ball, man. Opponent is over farming here to get to a move. Uh, get into that Shadow Ball. Now that takes it pretty low. The opponent throwing immediately. <clears throat> and that allows Jellison to get a full free hex here. Frenzy Plant, though, is going to knock out. Bubble Beam ain't saving you from that. <laughs> but the opponent does have a debuff for the Obama Snow, which should allow Obama Snow to get a nice farm down here. Uh, and that's going to very much so depend on uh, if the opponent decides to swap out or not. Which they do, they give up a switch advantage to bring in the Weezing, and they're hoping that perhaps this trainer's not running anything in the back that's going to be able to beat the Weezing. But they do shield the Weather Ball here. But now, Icy Wind and Dynamic Punch. Polyrath comes in on the Weezing as the opponent, uh, or this trainer is probably reading that the opponent may have two things in the back that are weak to... Uh, the Obama Snow as they had a grass as well. They may have another grass. And honestly, good read here because almost every Weezing in this cup is running Overheat and Brutal Swing. So despite the Fairy Poison typing, Weezing is doing all resisted damage here, which is going to allow this Polyrath a lot more leeway in this matchup. Now, Overheat is going to connect here and going straight for the Icy Wind. Perhaps this is going to allow Obama Snow yet another nasty little farm down. Nope, going to straight up take it out. Superior gets taken down. Two to one shield advantage. Celio is going to come in, going straight for the energy ball here. Now, um, even though we have two shields up, energy ball is not quite enough to knock out. And I'm not really sure if weather ball is going to do it from this range either. So we're going to have to see if uh, perhaps we get it low enough. Maybe the Polyrath can do a single counter and take it out. Uh, but the, now we have to very quickly expend both shields here on this Celio, whereas now we thought we had an advantage. Now Celio. Not doing too well, but going for that weather ball, the opponent probably shields this, to be honest. And at that point, you're just kind of hoping that you're going to be able to get to the weather ball. Energy ball? No, we're going straight for the double weather ball here, hoping that even though it's double resisted, it's going to be enough. It is almost enough here, and I think Polyrath can, can Polyrath come in? If it has enough HP, I think it might be able to come in and get one counter in, resist it. Yeah, it's got enough HP. Good game. Getting into the next battle here, we got Obama Snow in the dream lead against Tropius. What's the opponent going to do? They're going to pop in with a Polyrath. Jellicent immediately swaps in. You could just go straight for Shadow Ball in this matchup. It's just a dominant matchup. The opponent's Polyrath doesn't really have any energy that affects the Jellicent whatsoever. So Shadow Ball is definitely the way here, even after Icy Wind. This is going to do plenty of damage. Some very articulate swiping there, very smooth looking. I like it. Um, going to be able to go for quite a bit of a farm down here. The opponent going to have to throw at least two more moves here to even consider knocking out. And I'm assuming that they're probably running the same move set as this trainer is. They're probably running Icy Wind Dynamic Punch. So, not going to be able to throw Scald. Going for the Bubble Beam for that lowered attack. Oh, no. Dude, we've taken three Icy Winds already. The Shadow Ball. Oh, they go for the Dynamic Punch. It does about the same damage as the Icy Wind did. And then we're going to go for that Shadow Ball here to do some damage against the Tropius. Getting alignment here is fine, but we have to be careful of the opponent farming down here because they're going to come out of this with a uh, an Aerial Ace loaded. So, opponent is going to go for the move here, and Tropius does do super effective with both Air Slash and Aerial Ace, so we have to be careful. Uh, Obama Snow is going to be able to go for some more energy, but throwing on alignment here, allowing a full free move through, not ideal here. Being two away now, the opponent shields. Had we gone for the good timing, we would have been able to make both Weather Balls before the opponent would have been able to make this move here. So, very unfortunate that timing kind of ruined this uh, matchup here. I think that if they had thrown with the good timing, they throw on four, right, instead of, um, instead of three, and then they would have been able to go for one, and then the Weather Ball on the second Weather Ball. So, getting a full counter down, and what's in the back? It's Dugong. Dugong's, Dugong's not happy to see this. So, despite a little bit of uh 
just some not as ideal energy management right in, the, in there as well. You could throw one counter and then the move because you get one counter in and that's free damage and energy that you're giving the opponent when you don't throw that one counter because you cleanly get one counter inside of the duration of one ice shard and oh man, that was close. Could have been a lot but um, a cleaner of a win with better timing though, but good game. Next game, we got a chestnut on the lead, a core breaker, and it's running SmackDown for these Obama Snows. I'm gonna go straight for the weather ball here. <clears throat> now, SmackDown is a three turn move, and I apologize for harping on timing so much, but I really hope that, you know, when I do point it out, I hope that it helps everybody kind of improve on it and see um, what it could, you know, what, what improvements can be made. So I'm gonna go straight for the Frenzy Plant, trying not to debuff him. Oh no, it's a Mawile save swap. Oh, that's so painful for this Obama Snow here. Uh, but SmackDown is a three-turn move, so ideally you want to go for one, four, or seven on those counts. Yeah, Mawile's not getting anything here. We just punched this thing all the way into the ground and having Icy Winds to deal with that Chestnut when it comes back in. Plus the fact that we resist the SmackDowns. Polyrath is looking really good right now. The opponent probably has to come in with their third as they do. They come in with the Tentacruel. And in this case, because both Pokemon have the same exact uh, movement timing, right? It's both two turn moves. Then throwing immediately without throwing a fast move is fine. But when you have different speeds, typically there's going to be some proper timing that you're going to want to try to practice in order to maximize the amount of energy and damage that you're getting um, without giving your opponent any free energy or damage right because you just obviously giving the opponent anything for free you know one turn here and there may not make a difference but over the course of a battle it can add up if not done in at least a somewhat you know optimal manner so like you know you you let one hex through here you let another hex through later now that's two hexes that could be enough to get to a charge move to lose the game over when all we had to do right was just go for the right timing so and i know timing is not something that everybody you know is just amazing at but we take out the chestnut Boom! i'm waiting i'm waiting for the bubble beams honestly well asking he shall receive the opponent closed their app because they are like i don't want to hit the surrender button we'll take a bm bubble beam you know what that's fine i like bubble beam now suddenly i'm over my fear of bubble beam after that all right, not a great lead here. A Polyrath immediately safe swapping the Jealousy. The opponent now has a Trevenant counter swap. Going for the Shadow Ball. Full send it. Does the opponent call the bait here? Because I usually bait right here. The opponent does shield up. I almost always uh, bait there. Don't no, don't go straight for the Bubble Beam. They know it's not a Shadow Ball. They don't have to. They don't have to shield it. They go for the Seed Bomb though, and that's going to take out the um the jealousant in that matchup what i what i like to do when i'm playing it is i try to actually i go for the bait because they always shield it oh every time every single time they'll shield it um and that that typically means that especially if they took a bubble beam bait like i would be molding i would i would be so mad but you would literally see my face turn red and fumes coming out of my skull after having taken that but opponent has a wheezing in the back now let's see if it's the same as last time where they're running the dark fire coverage overheat and brutal swing again that's going to give polyrath a lot of edge in this matchup and despite being double resisted those counters do quite a little bit of damage for being as resisted as they are brutal swing there it is you know they're running overheat going to be able to win i'm so actually surprised that galarian wheezing wins cmp over polyrath that thing that has two giant fists and cannot have that bad of an attack stat, but Weezing somehow has more. I, I'm always I'm always amazed by by CMP sometimes. But getting that farm down here, going to be able to go for a move almost. No, not quite. They don't quite get there. But Energy Ball saving the shield for this Obama Snow could prove to be effective here. Energy Ball is going to KO it. Oh my goodness! Boom! The opponent tried to call the bait, and they called wrong. Getting into a pretty not great matchup here with Poison Jab Roserade. Uh, we do get to the Weather Ball. Catch the Weather Ball on the Jellicent. What a Giga Chad play. Now we're going to see the uh, opponent have to make a choice here. Did it? Huh? I have a Dedene trainer. I love Dedene. It's a good fun pick, but I have no. Huh? Going for the Bubble Beam. This cheeky. This cheeky trainer going for that bubble beam and the opponent actually gives up a shield for it. Oh, that's got to feel the worst. Now, at that point, I would have just gone for a shadow ball at that, you know, right after that. But because like the opponent knows it's a bubble beam now. No, they don't. They shield that one, too. Oh, my goodness, dude. Okay. All right. 
Well, two two bubble beam debuffs and it works. So we'll we'll see. Uh, discharge typically you want to go for play rough in this situation. Uh, play rough is suit is neutral, but the opponent opts instead to go for double discharge, which I guess I can um, I can understand it. Right, you want to get two moves off instead of one, but play rough is definitely the way to go. As fairy is neutral into both the ice and the uh, the grass typing here. Going to go for the weather ball now that opponent has given up both of their shields. Honestly, risky, risky play, but going to take out, and the opponent has a superior, but now it's not going to matter because superior has no shields. <coughs> Excuse me, an icy wind and these in the uh, counters are going to add up a lot quicker than getting through two shields. By the time they get to their third aerial ace. Polyrath will have already got to another icy wind. So the opponent gonna go ahead and just get countered down here. Unfortunately, taken out, but that's a good game. <laughs> Claiming a 5-0. There you go. We love to see the 5-0s. Always a good fun thing to see. And getting into the next battle here. Bomb of Snow on the lead versus another Tropius. You also love to see it. Tropius gonna stay in and get completely demolished. Going for the uh, Weather Ball on six. Again, just one more, and you'd be on perfect timing. And I, I, I timing is one of those things. You, I know, I, I talk about it a lot. And I'm just, every time I see it, I want to point it out. Because the trainers that send these battles into me often will leave a note in the uh, in, in the in the form or will DM me and say, you know, hey, you know, I, I know that you do coaching. If you wouldn't mind just pointing out, you know, some issues, you know, if you see them, you know, er errors in the play or whatever. So... It's, it's not something that I do just to rat on people. It's something that I'm actually usually requested to do. So I just, you know, I, 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 I hear myself talk about it a lot. But also trying to distract myself from the horror that is this matchup. But up a shield, Jellicent will be able to take it and be completely fine here. Having a 1-0 uh, shield advantage means that the two Shadow Balls here will be enough. The opponent's Tropius comes in. <laughs> they were tapping. I saw that bubble beam. I saw they were going to go for it. Bubble Beam, not going to do it here. Going to come back in with a Bomb of Snow to look to try and get some damage done. Get to the Weather Ball before the Tropius can get to a move, and they do. It's all up to Polyrath now. What's going to be in the back? The Polyrath is going to have to carry the rest of this team. The opponent has a Feral Thorn, and oh, Dynamic Punch is all we need. This is one of the reasons why trainers run Dynamic Punch, because Icy Wind Scald really wasn't great for dealing with Feral Thorn. Because of that, Power Whip, going to be a lot of damage here, but thankfully... Dynamic Punch also does a lot of damage and is super effective, and that's going to knock out Kaboom! the Feral Thorn. Good game. Getting to the next battle, Azumarill. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this in, in a while. I, I've seen a few people running things. Huh? Rock Smash, Azumarill. Hello? Spicy. We're doing super effective damage to the Obama Snow. This is five head. I love it. Gonna do a ton of damage here, and then swapping in the Jealous, and now the opponent really does not have a good time here. They're gonna go into a Lantern. Uh, a Lantern, I do believe, was running Spark, so... It happens, you know? It happens. So, now, it's up to the opponent. Are they gonna throw the Thunderbolt? Do we shield the Thunderbolt? The opponent does go for the Thunderbolt, they full send it. This Shadow Ball, they're going for Bubble Beam! Oh, this trainer knows they're going to get a shield with the, the Shadow Ball. Dude, every time I shield a Bubble Beam, I feel myself losing some semblance of myself. I just feel like I want to rip piece of my skull out. And the two shields at the Bubble Beam! <laughs> Bro, I would be so mad. I would be, I would genuinely be like, dude, did I really just shield two Bubble Beams? Did I really just do that? The opponent going for the Ice Beam. Neutral damage makes a lot of sense. Going to go immediately for the Energy Ball. And honestly, I don't know how much farm Rock Smash gives. So I probably would have gone straight for it too. Just to get rid of this thing. The opponent also has an Obama Snow. Going to go for the Weather Ball. Force the opponent to throw their Energy perhaps. And then maybe finish the game off with a Polyrath Farm Down. And Dynamic Punch into the Lantern here. Going to see how the trainer looks to play this game out. Opponent is going to go for that Icy Wind. Or the, uh, is it Icy Wind or is it... Weather Ball. Okay. Normal Obama Snows often end up running um, Icy Wind as well. So the opponent is not able to get to the Energy Ball here. And that means that Lantern's going to go down to this Dynamic Punch. It was a fun, it was a fun little game <laughs> to go and get this game out of here. Good game. Well played. Taking out the Lantern. All right. Getting into the next battle. Obama Snow into Empoleon. This actually is a lot worse 
for the uh, for the Abama Snow now that uh, the Steel Wing is involved. So immediately going to come in with the Jellicent, as there are two better answers in the back. And I'm telling y'all, I've seen this I've, I, I've seen this trainer do it a few times. They go straight for that Bubble Beam without even building up to the Shadow Ball. They have had some lucky times, but typically if you're going to bait with a Bubble Beam, you do definitely want to at least build up to the Shadow Ball so that the opponent at least fears it. Now, the opponent just spent a shield on the Bubble Beam. Are they going to spend another one on this Trevenant? No! No, they don't! Oh, goodness, that was incredible. Going straight for Bubble Beam this time, but the opponent looks to get the CMP tie, and he got... Man, I don't know, I just... If it were against me, I would I would know. I'm like, this is only a Surf, and then they'd throw Bubble Beam, and then I'd be like, what the heck? So I have to shield up this Drill Peck. It would be super effective. It's a lot of damage that would, that would just come through, so better to shield this, especially with the opponent already being down to one shield. What are they going to have in the back? It's a Rosa Raid. And you can save a shield, honestly, for either the Obama Snow or the uh, Polyrath. The opponent looks to have maybe closed the app or something. Um, yeah. Man, just hit the surrender button. There's no reason not to. All right, picking up a positive lead in a superior in the next game. See if the opponent decides to stay in here. They do. They must be core broken in the back. Perhaps they're running a grass double water team that Obama Snow perhaps has good play against. Maybe they're running like Dugong Lantern or something. I would I would expect that. But the opponent can go for aerial aces, but unfortunately for them, the aerial ace is not as significant to be able to take out. But the trainer is seeing value in their Obama Snow, and they decide to shield up the aerial ace and go immediately for the next weather ball before the opponent can get to another one. Down a shield. The opponent has a Roserade with Bullet Seed. Are we going for... They're going straight for the bubble beam. Build up to the Shadow Ball first. Sludge Bomb! Are they not? Are they running Weather Ball Sludge Bomb? They're not running Leaf Storm. Well, now suddenly things are looking up. Going for the Bubble Beam. Now that time they built up to the Shadow Ball, so that I would have shielded that probably as well. Um, now calling that they don't have any Grass type moves here, the opponent goes for another Sludge Bomb. Can go straight for the Shadow Ball, and again this they get both moves are three turns. So going straight for Shadow Ball without shielding is fine here. I'm gonna give that the button because man. Okay, now, opponent is going to come with their nine tails, and they just quit. Okay, um, good, good game. I think they had a shot there to win the game with nine tails, but okay. Uh, opponent has a Pelipper in this next game. Pelipper can go straight for the Weather Ball, but uh, they look to over farm here as they try to go for that Hurricane, as obviously going straight for a Weather Ball into a Grass type is not a good idea. Looking to catch the Hurricane on the... Uh, on the um, Jellicent here, but gonna go straight for the Bubble Beam after building up to the Shadow Ball. So this is the correct way to play it here. Building up to that Shadow Ball. The opponent does not shield. They're already down a shield. I, I imagine that they probably don't want to go down two shields here. So, safe to shield up one Frenzy Plant. Um, can go for the Shadow. I would still, I would just go for the Shadow Ball. Honestly, I would. Um, like we said, right? Like, they're already down a shield. They don't really want to uh, put forth another shield, right? So, unless the plan here is to go for a huge farm down with a bomb of snow and hope that a sludge bomb from the Venusaur doesn't knock out, this is a very dangerous move. I think you definitely just you just got to go for at least one of those shadow balls. I do think that Bubble Beam is, is very, like, very fun to use and has a lot of... It makes a lot of sense. Um, but when you got a Pelipper on the lead... You can't give the opponent a switch. And they just go straight for Weather Ball here. Winning CMP against the Obama Snow. How are we going to handle this one? We're going to see the Pelipper. Going to go for the Weather Ball again. Going to get that CMP tie-in. What's the opponent going to have in the back? Now, they are going to have to go up for another, like, eight or nine wing attacks to get to um, a Hurricane. Does the opponent look to throw... Is that a, that's not a Weather Ball, is it? Did they farm that much? Is that a Hurricane? Trainer! Hurricane! Oh, it's painful! <laughs> Oh, what a heartbreaking way to finish off. They went 12-3, and three and that was one of the losses. Getting a 9-1 run with a heartbreaking loss to a Pelipper. Oh, man. Some fun battles, some unexpected twists in some of them. But overall, a very good good set of battles here. So thank you very much for catching Pokebugs, so smitten the battles here. And thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.